Hey everyone. In this video, I want to talk about the importance of being honest about how you feel. And that goes for both romantic and platonic relationships. You see, the important thing here is that people cannot read your mind. So if you aren't honest about how you feel, then people aren't going to know what you're going through or what your true feelings are for them. So it's important that you communicate honestly and effectively to avoid misunderstandings and even creating a lot of problems with your relationships. In the case of platonic relationships, quite often people will want to check in on you. They will want to see how you're doing. And if you lie to them in that moment, if they ask how you're doing and you say, I'm fine or I'm good, when you're actually not, you're basically robbing them of a chance to help you, a chance for them to be empathic with you and potentially even give you advice to help you solve whatever issue you're going through. If you're not feeling great, people can help pull you out of that hole. But if you lie to them every single time to either save face or to make them feel better, you're basically making it so that you're going to go through all your problems alone. And that is not a good thing. So be honest with your friends and your family when they check in with you. If they ask you how you're doing, have the courage to tell them the truth. It'll solve so many problems and it'll likely make it easier for you to get through those down periods. Now, in the case of romantic relationships, dishonest communication creates so many problems that it boggles my mind why more people don't realize that honesty truly is the best policy. It's the right thing to do in almost every situation because it just allows you to communicate well with your partner to avoid a bunch of issues. I mean, there's a classic case that every guy is going to know where when a guy is in a relationship with a woman, if he asks her how she's doing and she isn't actually doing all that great, she'll often say, I'm fine, especially in the case where she's mad at him and he's trying to figure out whether or not she's gotten over it yet. And she just says, I'm fine. This is a big problem. It is not good. It's almost like a form of gaslighting because she's basically lying to him. She's not being honest about reality. And it's a big issue in relationships. You do not want to lie to your partner like that. I don't get why so many women do it. And maybe it's a safe face or some of them are straight up manipulative. And in that case, I hope the guys are able to realize that so they can get the heck away from her. But maybe it's just she doesn't want to hurt him or she's she just doesn't feel like truly explaining herself. I don't know what causes it. But what I do know is that this behavior is really bad. It will kill your relationships. So please have the courage to be honest to your partner. If they can't handle your honesty, then you shouldn't be in a relationship with them. That's, I mean, that's the way it goes. So you should never be afraid about being honest. So most of the time, well, 99% of the time, be honest about how you feel. If your partner asks you how you're doing and you're not doing fine, tell them that. If you're mad at them, tell them. Tell them what they can do to make things better, what made, what made you upset in the first place so that they can know how to correct that behavior going forward. Do not lie to them. And if you aren't feeling great for some other reason, yet again, be honest because they could potentially help you get through that down that period. It's just so important to be honest. And then in another case, when you're dating someone, being honest about how you feel about them is another cool thing that you can do. This is actually a very powerful thing because if done correctly, it makes you more attractive in their eyes because quite often we like people who like us. When we find out that someone likes us, it usually makes us more attracted to them. There's just something about that. So if you are honest about your feelings for someone throughout the dating process, you're probably going to be able to keep them around a lot better than if you lie to them every time. Now, the important thing here is to do this without any neediness. Cause I know a lot of guys are probably thinking, why would I ever be honest about how I feel for a woman? If I do that, she's going to leave me. And yeah, that can happen, but that only happens when the guys are needy, meaning, they want something from her. They're attached to a specific outcome. They want sex. They want a long-term relationship, whatever it may be. If in that case, if they tell her that they really like her and appreciate her, she's going to get a hint of that ulterior motive that he has, and that's going to turn her off. So it's not actually the honesty that she's not attracted to. It's the neediness. So that's the problem here. So if you let go of the neediness, if you let go of that attachment to outcome and 
you basically aren't trying to impress her, you don't want anything from her, then you can be honest about how you feel and she'll actually appreciate that and find it attractive. So that's the key here. Just let go of all neediness and then being honest is basically an aphrodisiac. It's incredibly attractive. So it even helps in the dating process. Just in general, you'll find that being honest about how you feel usually makes your life better. There are some few rare cases where it can be a bad thing, but I mean, come on, they're incredibly rare. Outliers do not dismantle generalizations. And for the most part, being honest is the right thing to do. It helps your relationship so much that all of you should give it a try. I mean, like I said, it just boggles my mind why more people aren't honest. It, it, it truly does solve a lot of problems in relationships. They should seriously teach us in high school or something. They should teach a course on relationships in high school, but yeah, anyway, you can tell I'm passionate about this. I hope this video helped you and I'll see you guys in the next one. Arrivederci.